Hi guys, Jen here from Ain and Suds and Such and Be Scented. I'm working on a custom soap. Um, this is actually I only need 13 bars, but I'm doing a double batch because I, I want some for my store. So um, this is Aval Bath. I'm doing the heat transfer method. This is just the lye and all the hard oils. I just added all my powders. Well, come on. Just come in and put your stuff right there. You don't have to get undressed right there. I'm already making, so I can't stop. You better get in and shut the door so the kitties don't get out. Uh, help me. I can't, son. You're going to have to do it. I told you that I was making. Uh, oh. Alright, there's a couple of little pieces that have not melted. I will um, we just look, we use just my stick blender to blend it up. I haven't 100% decided on my collars. Oh, oh, but that's so down. My other one's so down. <laughs> All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and add in my liquid oils, and then I'll blend up the pieces that are not completely blended. I do know that I want blue in this soap. It's a very um, earthy lemongrass, but it's got other notes in it too. So I may do, I don't know, maybe some brown in there with it and white. Just grabbing those last few little pieces. So you can see there's not many. Now this fragrance is um, a slow mover. I do think I'm going to do maybe a, maybe teal and brown and white. Sounds like a good plan. Ooh, it smells so good. I got my new containers for my lye. This is what my lye was in. Um, they're from uh, schoolmasters.com. Um, it's a on their chemistry side of their website. They are polypropylene containers. They're, they're used in the lab for chemistry, which is awesome. I need a container. So this one's going to be my brown. Of course, you know, not as much as that one. I rinsed this out. It's going to be my teal. And you know what? I'm going to have to go get paper towels. I'm going to have to pause you guys a second. And run and grab my paper towels because I'm totally out. Who soaps without paper towels? All right. So this 
is my white. I mixed it up earlier. I got a new, I just uh, washed out an old fragrance container. Um, Cause I noticed my stainless steel bottles were starting to deteriorate, which I had used it for a very long time. And I keep a close eye on my titanium dioxide bottles, of course. So I said, it's time for a new one. So we recycled, or got rid of the old one. And we got us a new one going. Good. It's not white, white, but that's fun. So, I want to do. Hmm. Yeah, I think I want teal. And then brown. This is our chocolate mica. Such a pretty color. It's like the color of chocolate. this before but I love it when I have a custom order and they give me free range on what to do they just pick the scent it's so much fun all right still nice and fluid which I have noticed when you do these bigger batches, um, it seems to stay more fluid for you. I don't know why, but that is the case. Probably because you're not stick blending a small amount. You're stick blending much more. So technically, you're not stick blending as much. I actually think these are the same size containers that Holly got um, from uh, Missouri River Soaps. She actually helped me uh, with the link and what I needed to get. She's very helpful. got my big containers from the Webstaurant store. It's a Webstaurant, like a restaurant, but it's a Webstaurant. I actually think I'm going to leave it um, swirled the way it is. Like 
excited to see how it looks. If you guys hear the TV, that is Austin and Eric playing video games. I actually think they're playing Call of Duty. They've already beat it once, but they're playing it again. I think they've beat them all. Um, for any of you gamers out there, <laughs> I recently, Eric bought me a game, um, Battlefield. I played the first one. We have a PS4, and so he bought me the second or another Battlefield to go with the one that I beat. Yeah, we like to play games too with the kids. Rest is for the top. Yeah, I'm glad I picked this combination. A lot of times, um, when I'm soaping, you know, I may have a plan. But then, when I get going, colors just kind of come to my in my head, and I'm like, oh, I should do this, or oh, I should do that, and you know, so that's what I do. And I am so sorry, I did not check to make sure you guys could see me while I was pouring that. Ugh. And I know how annoying that is. Y'all were probably hollering at me to look at the camera. That's what I get for just talking and not paying attention. Sorry. I gotta gotta get as much soaps done today as I can. Got lots of custom orders. And some of them um I may want for my store. So instead of like I have a lot of six bar uh orders, so I may do a 13 bar, and so I have for me. And I think all of the orders that I've gotten, um, I have free range with them all. Say woohoo for me. I'm just going to swirl the top on this after I get all of the soap in there. Lots of scraping, but saves you much headache later when you go to clean everything. Us soap makers know that because you know cleaning is no fun so scrape of it out as much as you can I think Austin's playing right now. I heard him say, no, 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 no. 
somebody was probably going to kill him. these. I want to get me some more. I um, used them for so long and you know I just wipe them down and put them back but then I throw them away after a while. I'm not going to glitter the top of this one just because it can be for men also. So Just kind of cleaning up the sides. But I shall bring you guys back when we go to cut this bad boy. Excuse me. We are back to cut uh, the avo bath. Now I must say, oops, I just put my fingernail in that one. Whoopsies. I'm moving these <laughs> out of my way. I had a disaster. I always cover my soaps. And as soon as I covered my soap, <laughs> I had a cat come in and step in it. Which, you know, it didn't hurt them, of course, you know, because the soap was covered. Um, and, you know, of course, the soap is not hurt. Other than my design probably is all messed up. Hope you guys can see well. So yeah, <laughs> bit depressing. Um, but they stepped just in this side. So I said, you know what? This side can be for me. Woo. But I'm going to zoom you in so you guys can see. No, wrong way. Just the soap as it's being cut. Oh, I need a paper towel. That way I don't have to show each piece. We'll see here in just a minute how terrible the soap looks. when we get there. You can't unzip your coat. There you go. What do you say? Thanks. You're welcome. So we're getting ready here in just a minute to get to where I had a cat step down in it. It was depressing having to pull the towel out of the soap. I wanted to cry. Still, so far so good. Within the next bar or two we should see a difference in the design. Should definitely see it here. So that's where its little foot went. <laughs> so it's not terrible. No, not terrible. Not as terrible as I thought it was going to be. So this is, now the other loaf um, is for the wholesale order, so I won't cut it on camera. I'm pretty pleased though, it's not as terrible as I thought. So thank you all for watching and we'll catch you on the next video.